former Moldavian president Mohammad Nasheed was arrested shortly, uh, sh a short while ago by police in the country's capital. The arrest was ordered in connection with his trial over the arrest and subsequent detention of a judge during his rule. The arrest came less than a fortnight after Nasheed left the Indian High Commission on the 23rd of February, where he was holed up for 11 days to escape two arrest warrants issued by the court earlier. The former president will be presented in a Malay court tomorrow. Nasheed has been holed up inside the Indian Embassy, had been uh, holed up, that is, for 11 days and had come out only after an assurance by the Wahid government that he would not be arrested. And this was an understanding that was reportedly brokered by the special Indian team that had spoken to the Mali government. Let's get a quick word in from our foreign affairs correspondent Maha Siddiqui for more on this. Uh, Maha, uh, this, is, uh, this, is, this is a big development. Nasheed has now been arrested. Any reactions from the Indian government so far considering that it was after they had intervened that Nasheed had actually emerged from the Indian High Commission and gone home? Well, they are waiting for the, any sort of uh, information to come from the mission in Mali. Remember, uh, Shiv, as you pointed out there, this uh, development comes despite the fact that a three-member team from uh, the Ministry of External Affairs led by the uh, Joint Secretary-level officer had gone to Ma Mali and spoken to all the stakeholders and pressed upon uh, President Wahid's government that a conducive atmosphere needs to be created in Maldives for the September presidential election. And there was uh, a, an assurance uh, that was given because of which uh, Mohammad Nasheed felt safe enough as he had earlier said that he felt unsafe that is why he had taken refuge in the Indian High Commission. After that assurance, he stepped out of the Indian High Commission. And then we are seeing this third arrest warrant being uh, executed today. He's been taken into custody and he has been sent off uh, from reports that are suggesting to a detention center uh, in uh, in Maldives. Now, what we understand right now is that he has been taken into custody. The case uh, is to come up for hearing tomorrow at 4 p.m. And uh, the Indian government as of now is waiting and watching to see uh, as the situation develops. However, uh, the panic button has already been pressed by Mohammad Nasheed's party members. They, his lawyer has also been saying that he also can't get in touch uh, with Mohammad Nasheed. So they are trying to create uh, some sort of pressure, not just on India, but internationally, so that uh, the situation doesn't uh, go out of hand in Maldives. Right. Uh, uh, also, uh, Maha, if you could just take us through what really the understanding was, because uh, just a couple of days ago, uh, Nasheed had actually spoken to uh, the press in India where he had actually said that he suspected that the deal that was struck between India and Maldives as far as his, uh, you know, continuation inside the Indian High Commission was not complete and he suspects that it was not foolproof. It couldn't have protected him from his arrest. And that's proving to be true. Well, uh, Shiv, uh, at that time when uh, Mohammad Nasheed left uh, the Indian High Commission, what we understand is that uh, uh, a certain sense was given to India that uh, the atmosphere in Maldives uh, will be made conducive for the elections in September, which indirectly means that anybody who wants to contest the elections, Mohammad Nasheed being one of them, will not be uh, made to feel unsafe within the country because that's the first uh, and the most important thing that has to be adhered to if free and fair elections are to be conducted in a country. That was the sort of reassurance given which was communicated to Mohammed Nasheed after which uh, perhaps he felt that it, he could leave the Indian okay. High Commission to evade that arrest. But clearly that is something that has not been lived up to at the moment. We'll have to see how India reacts to that situation. Let's get a word in from a senior journalist, Abdul Latif, Joining me live uh, from Malay, uh, Abdul, just take us through what the situation is right now. Uh, former President Nasheed has, in fact, been arrested. What happens next? Well, it's actually, for, uh, 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 we have a procedure that is, uh, I mean, we have, in the sense, the courts, uh, we have a procedure. If a person is asked to attend the court with a warrant, and if he doesn't appear it, especially twice, then they ask the police to produce him to the court, and it is not counted as an arrest. It is counted as he will remain in the police custody till he is produced to the court. 
So tomorrow, four o'clock, Mr. Nasheed's case is in the court. So they will let it, they will hand over into the court, and uh, from that moment onwards, he is a free person. So at the moment, he is not, he is not under actually arrest. He is under police custody to be taken to the court. That's all. There is no investigation going on in this procedure. There is uh, no judicial procedure. That is a common rule. Right. Because, uh, during the Mr. Gajum's time, they took me also last that twice. But, uh, but this is a common uh, practice which is going on in, in Maldives for a long time. Abdul, and at yes. the end, I heard uh, uh, just now over the phone that Mr. Nasib says so and so after coming out and all. But uh, our government has always rejected, uh, Maldives government has always said that they did not have negotiation with anyone. And Maldives uh, government is, uh, even now, right. yesterday, even the president has said that any can, any candidate can go to can contest. The, in Maldives, the uh, government doesn't have any objection on, uh, on uh, uh, Mr. Abdul Latif, thank you. Abdul Latif, thank you for getting us that update from Maldives. We'll keep a close track of that story and get you the very latest for now. Mohamed Nasheed is in custody and he will be produced in a court tomorrow.